Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to uh, crack the shrink on a the newly uh, released, newly printed, newly arrived copy of Heroes of Normandy for the Log and Load Tactical System by Log and Load Publishing. Um, uh, I did an unboxing of the first, uh, the most recent edition prior to this from Lock and Load, where they are, had updated their printing process and uh, you know, the, the nice uh, pre-rounded counters and everything like that. So um, this is the upgrade. And the first thing you'll notice um, is, so this is the new, this is the new copy. Right. And you see it's pretty thick. And then we've got the original. And now this has all my counters in it. And the lid does not close. So you can see, right? So... In that case, it's a little bit larger box. And the reason for that is, just to look at the old one real quick, is that I've got some counters bagged, and I've got some counters in a tray, and then all the maps, and books, and helps, and things that you print out along the way, and it just did not fit in the box. So one of the things they heard was make a bigger box. So they did, and this is what you get. And we're gonna now see what's inside of this one. Um, I'm not sure if, if there are any counter corrections, uh, or if it's just the new printing with a better box, probably an updated rule set. We will find out. So we're going to show you what you're going to get now if you were Heroes of Normandy from Lock and Load now. This is what you're going to get. And it, is a, it is a big box. It's going to take up some nice space on our shelf. Probably about the size of a, uh, of a uh, coin coin game so if you have those on your shelf this will this will fit nicely alongside okay so we got a nice big box all right so we start with some dice two dice green and white in a bag and as usual we want to make sure that they roll and I'm sure they do Nice rounded corners too. All right, crabs. Okay, so you get the two dice. Then you get the core rules manual, four point one, full color, large print, very easy to read, very easy to find. They have they restructured the rules from earlier, uh, you know, a couple years ago in earlier editions. So. Um, and with every copy of Lock and Load Tactical, you're going to get, uh, you know, in the World War II era, you're going to get a copy of this book. And then obviously for the modern era, you're going to get the, the modern rules book. Um, the rule book is, let's see how many pages we got here. We've got a couple of charts here. We've got 65 pages. Um, and they are... Uh, uh, a couple of pages of charts here at the back. So I've uh, got a glossary, new ample of play, and then a um, section bullet point uh, set of rules. I found the rules were actually pretty easy to use, so I'm sure they didn't mess those up. So there's your rule book. Now then we got the module rules and scenarios. And one thing they mentioned to me was one concern I had. Uh, before was that um, the uh, scenarios were not. I took the first scenario and played it, and they put the, they had put the scenarios in uh, chronological order instead of in order of uh, rule inclusion, so that you don't start with an easier scenario and work your way up. So I'm wondering if they did follow through and update this. So we've got. First of all, let's go through the scenarios. You've got 91 pages. This is a 91 page book. Very stiff bound. Um, probably what is called perfect binding. Um, full color, large print. Very easy to tell what's going on. So let's see if we have an index here. We do. And. So like the first scenario in this one is 14, 
Um, this is on page 14. So here's your national your characteristics that are to tell you what you know how care how uh, units reduce so on and so forth in the game. Um, there's an ad for Luckman Tactical Solo. You can see another video of that uh, elsewhere on my channel. All right, just some ads. All right, Rebecca, can you see me? Um, this does look like the same first mission that I that I played. I don't want to give anything away. Yeah, it's got some event markers in it, so I don't think they I don't think they managed to to resort them or provide a suggested play order for the missions. Maybe they'll have that online, or maybe it's in the box somewhere. Let's just keep going. But there's the rules and scenarios for that. Now you've got your maps. These are geomorphic maps, and like other games, uh, they're individually numbered for the series, so you can combine them with other maps. Um, so if this starts at 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, so you get 13 through 18, so we'll open one up here. And these are small maps, which is good they, when you combine them together. These are, let's see, get the ruler out. These are a little over 12, about 13 inches by uh, just about 8 inches. So roughly about 8 by 12, more like 8 and a quarter by 12 and 3 quarters. So, um, all right, so you get, you get six of those maps, 13 through 18. Beautiful artwork, full color, uh, clear center dots. All right, and then we get some counter sheets. Now, one thing they had included in the original that does not look, I want to say anything until I get to the bottom here. I'm going to go ahead and take an advanced peek. They do not have what are known as the X maps, so I don't know if they've reprinted those. They had those with the uh, the, the previous printing, uh, and had included them with pre-orders or Kickstarter orders or however they did their advanced sales. Um, and then you could you could buy them as an add-on. So there may be an add-on. The copy I uh, have of the original Heroes of Normandy did include the X maps, so along with the smaller maps. The X maps are basically just larger maps which, if you're only playing a one or two map scenario, uh, have bigger hexes, make it a lot easier to play. Uh, so I definitely recommend getting those if you can get your hands on them. Definitely worthwhile. So uh, if you have a previous version uh, with the X maps, you want to hang on to those if you sell or trade and upgrade to this one. So be it as it may, just a little advertising there. So looks like we have six counter sheets. All right, and these are the, uh, the pre-rounded um, uh, style. Instead of being on sprues, they're just, they punch them out. And they punch cleanly. Now you do end up with a little bit of a side nub, which doesn't usually doesn't cause as much problems as the, uh, as the corn ones do. Here, like if you're stacking them, moving them around, so it's not a big deal. They're very thick. Actually, seem a little thicker maybe than the previous ones, slightly. I'm not going to compare them side by side. Maybe that later. Um, now, one thing I'm noticing here is that they're very close, close to the edge there, as Yes would say. Um, some of the data is really close, but you know what? Since I'm not clipping them, I don't have to worry about it. So uh, it's not going to fall off as long as they're, they're registered properly. Let's take a look at the one I just punched, see how the back turned out. And the, the whole, you know, all the data is where it needs to be, so I think that'll be all right. All right, so you get a mix of, uh, looks like one inch counters and uh, uh, five eighths counters and everywhere in between three quarters. Um, vehicles are usually the one inch. Uh, teams and, and uh, individuals are the five eighths. 
and then the uh, guns and mortars usually be the uh, uh, three-quarter inch. All right, got a lot of guys here. A lot of counters. And the Normandy had like four or five different force sets. I mean, you know, Germans and uh, British and American. So uh, that's why you're seeing a lot of different colors here. All right. So we got uh, six counter sheets, all various units. And you'll punch these and sort these and then and then store them in the very nice big box. All right. And that's one thing about the lock and load uh, tactical series is that each each one is self-contained. So unlike say um, uh, I don't want to name any names, but other games that were in a series where you buy expansions and gain units and maps and things like that. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, when you buy a game, you're going to get everything you need in the game. So it works out pretty good. So here's the Heroes of Normandy rule reference card. Now this will, this will take precedence over the base set rules, obviously, because this is targeted just for Heroes of Normandy and may uh, cover special... Uh, cases that are found in these scenarios. Um, the weapon ammo and targets chart. So the roll reference card is two sided. The weapons ammo and targets chart also two sided. And then we got a roll reference card right here. And a roll reference card gives you. Uh, basic overview of the counters and what they do and what the different numbers mean. Okay. All right. And then we also have your turn trap, which is always nice to have instead of having to count up a die, you can cut a turn marker. And that's fine. And then you're going to have a skills reference chart. As each of the uh, some of the counters in here are uh, like you'll have a hero that's a rocket man and he gets these abilities so this is the this is the chart you'll refer to for that this is double planted folded cardstock the printing has is still great I mean the the quality of the materials is still awesome and what you're getting here so and then this is your overall player aid card it's got your terrain effects chart right here. And I usually keep it folded that way. And then you get your uh, die roll tables, your ordinance tables. Uh, die roll tables, isn't it? It's a die roll modification for your uh, fire charts. Okay. Alright. And then you get a big box. So, Comparatively, if we take just take the uh, lid from the old one and the uh, and the box from the new one. Yes, yeah, so you can see what you were getting. You definitely got like three times the size here for storage, which is going to be a huge plus, especially if you have the X maps to throw in here or order them. Now, what would be interesting to do is to take the here's a Normandy old lid. Now oh, it's actually kind of smaller. So it doesn't fit very snugly. I was thinking you can make it like a like a shirt box or something. But we'll keep everything the way it's supposed to be. So if you buy the current printing that just came out of Heroes of Normandy for the lock and load tactical system, you're gonna get a very nice deep box, a play grade card, skill reference chart, turn track, a rule reference card, weapons, ammo, and targets chart, along with your sequence of play. A rule reference card. These are more details about the different options available. It's kind of neat. I think this used to be like a uh, fold out. So this is nice that this is double sided. If I'm remembering correctly, I don't want to go through the box because we're showing you what's in here. You're going to get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six double sided counter sheets. You're going to get six maps, 13 through 18. 
in the standard size. You're going to get the rule book and scenarios, 90 something pages, and then the rule manual. And that is what is going to come in Heroes of Normandy, Lock and Load Tactical from Lock and Load Publishing. And how could I forget? Two dice. Thanks. God bless you. Oh!